Welcome to our page, Whole Total Health. Thank you for joining us today. We are coming on here because our company, Young Living Essential Oils, has an amazing deal happening with our Thieves Starter Kit. And it is an entire kit for products in your home for $125. We used to pay $160 for this same kit. It's a very good deal. Yeah, it really is. And they're offering this right now, I'm sure with all of the things that are going on, it's just a really nice way to brighten up people's lives. And so because they're offering this amazing deal, we have this amazing inspiration to do this upcoming Thieves class for all of our members and all of the people who are connected to our members. And so we want you to stay tuned on the details of that. Um, more on that will be coming soon. So. I do want you guys to understand at Whole Total Health with all of our classes that we are going to do our best to make them interactive, multifunctional, and very fun. We have lots and lots of valuable content that is going to be coming at you guys very soon that is super creative and super relevant to the times. We also use lots of resources that we are going to include in the different parts of our classes like pamphlets, trifolds, worksheets, yeah. um, What's the other word? Like different presentations, graphics, like there's so many amazing things that are going to be coming. And so we wanted to make sure to update you guys and let you know about that as soon as possible. So this video, we want to talk about how the world is becoming more and more aware of what is healthy and what is not healthy in their products. So you hear these terms like all natural or toxin free, right? I'm sure many of you guys have heard that term and these types of products are becoming more and more popular. But what we want to educate people on mm -hmm. is are these products really safe? Just because they say all natural or toxin free, does that actually make them a safe product? So Desiree, have you ever heard of the term greenwashing? I have heard of the term greenwashing. It's an amazing term, like it's very catchy, yep. right? It's also called green sheen and it's a marketing spin in which a company deceptively persuades the public that its products are environmentally friendly and therefore better when they actually are not. Um, it's they try to appeal to nature because with everything nature. that do you has, hear the nature? I know we are actually out in nature. Besides the sirens, I, yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Focus it's on nature. the birds. It's that's nature. Right. It's nature. So um, they use words like pure, free, clear. Um, but in actuality, again, they're not necessarily what they claim. Well, and actually really quickly, I was shopping at a store and there was a large string of laundry soap for like super cheap and it said eco-friendly. And so of course I scooped it up and I knew I should have probably done my research first. When I got it home, it was a nine out of 10 for being the absolute worst product I could use on my children and my family. And I actually ended up taking back to the store, but this is, this is why and what we want to talk to you about in our upcoming classes mm -hmm. is because people are uneducated on this. They don't actually know, oh wait, I have to do my research. So they put these catchy phrases on these bottles that are not illegal. They can say greenwashing. I mean, they can say pure, they can say whatever they want. Clean, free. But it's our job right. to do the research. So that's how, it, that's how people get, you know, um, misled, I guess, because Correct. they need to do their own research, which is what we're very passionate about. So we wanted to come on live today to make an announcement to all of you about a couple of resources that many people from our team mm -hmm. are using regularly that pertains to our all things thieves class coming up. And it also pertains to this topic that we're talking about, which is how to do your own research, yes. how to find your own resources. So Desiree's gonna talk to us about that. Okay, so the first one that we wanna talk about is, is, is uh, Think the Think Dirty app you can put this on your phone, you can put this on your tablet. Um, it's a convenient app that you can take anywhere. It's free. You can download it to your phone, computer, or your tablet, as I already said, so that you can access it from anywhere. I already said that, said it twice. It must okay. be really important. It is important that you, you know, can access it from anywhere. And seriously. actually, I really, that's really important to me because I do care about what products I'm bringing into my home and new products are coming out all the time. And so that's a really good way for me to check them out. So that's resource number one, a Think Dirty app. That's right. And the second one is called um, the Environmental Working Group web website. It's also called EWG. That's what I, I commonly call it. 
Um, that one is one that I have on my computer and that has a really in-depth um, you can really study things more in depth on that. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. Yes. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the Think Dirty app because it is actually something that I use regularly. Hey, Robin. Hey, Linda. Sorry, I do see some people are joining us live yeah. um, and more people are joining. So that's fun. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about the Think Dirty app. It is a resource that I absolutely love. We've had so much fun with this resource in our yeah. family. All you need to do is go to your app store and you look, you type in Think Dirty kind of fun name, right? Eek. Um, and so you type that in and then you download the app. Okay. Once you get into the app, it's it, what it does is you can either scan products and you can rate they're rated when you scan a product, it's rated in terms of safety. Okay. There's a one to 10 scale in this and you can scan them, but I actually do a search. So I put in the product. So if I say tied or all free and clear or cascade or something like that. I type it right in there and it comes right up. And okay? can I make a note on that too? That's because not all of the scans are actually in, but the product names are. Right, so you're so better off to do a search. You can do a scan do the, yeah. and then if it doesn't come up, then make sure to do double check, that's yeah. good. And, and do a search and make sure it's not actually in there. So I have a little um, thing here. So we actually use all free and clear. I like it, it's a three out of 10. Um, so it's not terrible, um, but it's obviously not the best product that I can use. Um, so I've done less research, but remember the eco-friendly one I bought was a nine out of 10. Okay. So that's terrible, even though it said eco-friendly. So what you can do is you can scan again, first you scan the barcode. Right. If it's not in there, you can type it in. I just skip that step and type it in. So it's going to rate all your products. You can type in any brand, any product, um, and it's going to rate it for you. Okay. So this helps you to what we call pick your poison type thing, yes. right? Because we yeah. all are on this path, yeah. you know, researching our products and, and adding and deleting different products that we're using based on our own knowledge. Desiree's knowledge is not the same as mine. Mine is not the same as hers. So we call that pick your poison, right? So I'm using a three out of 10 for laundry soap, but nearly everything else in my home is 100% clean as right. much as possible. So, um, again, like you had shared, you know, you're, you're, they're putting these greenwashing terms on there. That's confusing people. So we want you to feel empowered. We want you to feel knowledgeable right. about, um, what products you're using. So if these products were to rate like higher between four and 10 on this app, then you can check out an in individual ingredient, an individual ingredient or ingredients that are in it that are actually making it rate so high. And the way that you do this is with our second resource that Desiree is gonna to talk to you about, and that is the Environmental Working Group's website. And then you can look into it more and see why or what ingredient is giving it that higher rating. So you wanna tell us more yes. about that? So um, the Environmental Working Group uh, website, again, EWG, is a website that you can go to and again, just type in the individual products or in this one you can type in the individual ingredients which are awesome and see how they rate in terms of safety um, so here's what you do you literally just type in ewg.org onto any computer database and it's going to bring up the site now you can set up um i have a, a it's not a paid membership it's it's a free site i go in it all the time but i can sign in and and keep information if i want um so you're just gonna eat there's just gonna be a search bar and you just go into that search bar and again you're gonna type in your product the top product that you're using or you're going to type in the ingredient here's what you do actually i like to type in the product first and then what it's going to do is it's going to grade just like you get grades in school from A to F. Then they, so they do the overall product A to F, and then they do the individual ingredients from A to F. They give each one uh, a rating. And so you'll know specifically what ingredient is in that, um, that's in that product that's going to give at the F grade, you'll know what is this that's lowering the standard of this product environmentally, environmentally or for my my health. Um, now, it's important to know when you're. Well, let me just tell. I I started with this website a long time ago, um, just because I wanted to know. I wanted to make good decisions. I don't even remember how I came across it. So. Um, but I at that time there were no cell phones or you know or I didn't have one maybe but. I really liked it because it gave me enough information 
and it told me how it affected my body. So it, if it affects the endocrine system or if it, it affects the aquatic so water, we don't super, think about super it. super, super in-depth. Yeah, it goes, it, it really, but it, but it makes it tangible. It's tangible information. Um, so I, I really use that a lot. I type in all my new products that I, I, just to see if they're in the website and see how they're rated. Now they can give you an opportunity to choose a better product. Uh, actually, so let me Think say Dirty this. did that. Yeah, and let me say this. I know this is, we're going to talk about this more at the end, but I think it fits better here. And that is, can you talk about the list, like how they list the ingredients? And yes. The, the ingredient that's at the top of the yep. list. Yep. Go ahead. So, it's, well, that's it. It does. At the, the one at the top is the, is no, the look highest. There. There's not even any ingredients listed on this one. Which so, is well, you bad. Can, you can probably look that online, but the ingredient that's at the very top of the list is the, is the highest content. It has the highest content. Of ingredients so let's say we were doing a chocolate chip cookie and it said flour it means that the ratio of flour to all the other ingredients there's a higher ratio of flour if it says chocolate chips is the third ingredient it's the mid amount of uh, of ingredient in there okay in there. this is unbelievable vanilla might be the last thing because there's just a little bit of vanilla in there so it'd be the last ingredient listed yes so that's yeah. good so if like a lot of people talk about like our lotions and stuff a huge part of those are water a huge part of your products yeah. are water okay but then yeah. the other ingredients in there uh, recently i just heard that there was something happening where they were taking ingredients there is no ingredients listed on either of these pro like you i mean you can look it up like you said that's how i do it but yeah it used to be where they had to list had to ingredients. List no, so I'm don't. very, I'm very shocked by this. Um, I actually brought it out here to kind of show you guys ingredients. But the main point is the top ingredient listed is the most in Highest that product, amount. and the bottom one yeah. is the least. Okay. So <clears throat> the important thing about knowing that is, let's say you check out your product and it's got a D, not an F, not an A, or it's got a C. And you want to go, okay, but I really want to have those top two. I want to stick between A, B, or what makes this a C? You can go in there and you can check out the ingredient. And if the ingredient is listed at the bottom of the ingredients, then you can say, you know what? There's such a small amount in there that I'm willing to bring that product into my home. Yes. And so it helps you to make a better decision. Now, if it's at the top, it's a top ingredient, and that, you know, and it's got a bad rating, then you can go, okay, maybe that's a product I don't want to bring in my home because that's the highest ingredient that's listed on the label. So if you know those things, it helps you to make a good decision. Not only does it thing. help you make a good decision, but it goes into um, supply and demand. So yep. for example, while we were preparing for this uh, live video, I looked up Cascade because it is one of the things that I still use personally. And I had noticed Cascade is an eight, terrible, but they have the Cascade pods now that are a three. So why would I use this if it's right. such a, so you won't know that unless you are constantly, oh right. my gosh, it's such it, a good point. Like you have to constantly yeah. be researching. But they bring out new products yes. all the time. Those pods weren't out, you know, yes. several years ago. And so, so in, in, um, a pro for, or like in support of Cascade, they are doing things to make things better. So the more that we purchase the products that are better for us, right. which is why you have to educate yourself. Yes. You have to become knowledgeable because the more we buy those products, they're going to eventually phase these out, right? Yeah. Because nobody's buying them. They're right. terrible for our environment. They're terrible for us, for our speaks. bodies. Yes, yeah. so that is what yeah. we need people to understand. Exactly, exactly. And you know, you're, you're doing a, you're making a better choice. You know, Tara likes Cascade, so. Well, I don't like it, but I just haven't yeah. found a better. Well, again, we're talking. It works enough. We're it talking works. about picking our poison. Yeah. <clears throat> we're not talking, some of us might want to wipe our whole house clean, but we're just talking about picking your poison. You know, you just, again, we're just going to make one change. Make one change is better than no change at yes. all. And so that's really important. If you know what you're bringing in, you can go, you know what, that's just too caustic. I can find something that does the job that I want this product to do and it's gonna be less harmful for your body. For your for your body and for your environment. Which because you even, Desiree are the master cleanser when it comes to that. I, this girl <laughs> knows her stuff about finding good products, even you know, 
either budgeting out your products if they're higher prices or finding the products that are yeah. super inexpensive, which I know you are chomping at the bit to go into, but that is in our class. I know you are. Um, things like vinegar, Ritter, baking, baking soda, soda. Uh, things our that we... Our cleaner, which yes, we're going to talk about. The thieves, yeah. which we're going to talk about. But yeah. I know that you love those products, and I do too. Um, hydrogen peroxide. I mean, there yes. are certain things that I never go without. I have tons of it, you know, stockpiled in my house. So, but... Yes. But we're not going to talk about that no. now, so you're going to have to come to the class. Yeah. So we're, these are just some of the things that we're, I mean, be prepared because when we have this upcoming class, these are going to be the things that we're going to be talking about. Isn't it exciting? It really is. I really, exciting. I get a little pumped when I'm talking about this stuff. This is your favorite topic. This is. So far. <laughs> okay. So if scanning every product at the store feels uber time consuming, which it completely is, like nobody wants to go to a store and, or has the time to scan their products while they're at the store. So... It's a great idea to find a company where you can purchase all of your products from that actually has your health in mind. Like they've already done the research, right? right? A lot of what we're paying for when we get top quality products is because they've already paid right. to do the research. Right. So people think we're just paying for a product. No, we're paying for people to continue to go out into the field, research the best products, research the best ingredients so they're the best for us and our environment. So the company that we go with, they're committed to producing products that are super safe and super right. effective. So when we get a new product, we don't have to like obsess over it as much as like if we were to go to a store and like, oh, they just came out with this right. new makeup. Like, no, because we know our company that is working for us, right? right? They're going out and doing this research for us. So most of the products in my home and Desiree's home are purchased directly from Young Living. We right. showed you there are a few products here and there that we are still working on switching out. But we purchase most of our products directly from Young Living because they're committed to bringing us the highest quality products. And yes. that's what I'm paying for, right? That's most of what I'm paying for. Right. And we want you to know that even though some naturally occurring um, chemicals in nature can be harmful, we, when we refer to nature, we want to assure you that when we are referring um, to the word natural in our upcoming classes, we're referring to products that their ingredients are literally natural, not toxic. Right. So this means that they're not harmful to our health and that they're completely safe for your family. So we, when we use the word nature, we want you to... Or natural. Or natural. We want you to disassociate it from... Harmful natural products. Yeah. Thank or, you. or ingredients. So yeah. for example, you think of natural gases, right? right. Like it's not going to be good for us to put natural gas in our formulas right. like that are bad for us, right? Or lead or different things that are found in nature. But again, one of the things we pay our company for is they know that these ingredients, because right. they've done the research, is not good for us, right? Yeah. We might use it in other projects that we do, you know, in um, engineering or architecture, you know, or all these different things. Mm -hmm. But for us, for our families, for our bodies, for our homes, like it's not... Right good okay save the harmful chemicals for when you paint right. your, when you paint your house until they have better paints until they right. have better you know what i'm saying again that goes back to the whole pick your poison thing sorry so, i didn't mean to cut you off no it's good um thank you uh be ready to bring a few products to this class so we want to invite you to do that be ready to share bring any household or laundry product that you are currently using we we want to encourage you to do that because again we're going to try to make this a fun format where everybody gets educated everybody learns something and you need to learn about what you're using not about what i'm using exactly. i mean we're going to share that too but anyway we want you so, to be educated we want you to be empowered exactly. we want you to be we want informed. you to see how easy it is so yes. we will be providing you with an awesome worksheet for this class as well and we'll be posting that information very soon. Very soon. So we've attentively talked about June 7th. If you look on our event on this page, you will see June 7th is our All Things Thieves yes. class. We're kind of going back and forth if we want to just kind of keep doing these live videos like this because it seems to be more interactive. It seems to be more available to people rather than just have it from seven to eight one night. So you may just see us popping in here randomly. Yeah. Um, this is kind of our intro video to our class. And then maybe we'll just kind of keep putting these updates in here. But either way, follow this page, like this page, share this page. We're also on YouTube now. Yay! So yeah. you can type in Whole Total Health uh -huh. and you can find us on YouTube. And, and then subscribe. Yes, thank you. Subscribe, and like, share. share. Yep. Bring all your friends. But we've also created playlists in YouTube so that yep. eventually when all of this class is updated, we will have one playlist called All Things Thieves. You can send it in one link 
Yep. And it's an entire class you can send it anywhere in the world. We're so. trying to make that information very accessible for you and those that you would like to share that information with. So, <laughs> so excited. It's very exciting. Okay. We love you all. Thank you for joining us again. Feel free to even like, share, comment on this post. On Facebook, we only reach about 50% of our people. And so by us expanding to YouTube, we can now re reach 100% of our people with education. So it is really a big deal. And again, thank you for joining us and stay tuned for all of our updates about all things thieves. Adios. <laughs>